hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to be sharing my hair routine this is something that's been highly requested and i'm really excited to finally be sharing it with you i'm also really excited to announce that i'm a look fantastic ambassador so you guys can get 20 percent off products featured in this video using my code coco beauty so let's start with my hair routine i like to wash my hair in the morning and i start by brushing the hair through just so i loosen up the dirt this will help break up any dry shampoo or product that i've used in my hair so I can get a thorough cleanse. I have been using Kerastase for years and years. It was something that was recommended to me by previous hairstylists and I have just loved the product. I do tend to change the range of Kerastase products that I use. I'm currently using the resistance range because I have a lot of breakage and damage in my hair so I'm just trying to repair it and I normally shampoo my hair twice just so I really get a deep clean. Once I've shampooed my hair, I will be using the Olaplex Hair Perfector number 3 and I've been using this for a while, I use it around once a week and it really helps to bond my hair. As I mentioned, I have a lot of breakage and split ends and this just helps to repair it. I'll then follow through with the Kerastase Conditioner. I have the Nutritive one and I absolutely love this, I love the smell and it helps my hair feel really silky and smooth. After I'm done with that, I will towel dry my hair again and just pop it into a little hair turban. My hair holds a lot of moisture so I like to soak up as much as I can in my towel. Before going and blow drying my hair, I like to let my hair just dry a bit naturally. So I'll go ahead and apply my makeup, I'll get myself dressed and ready and then I'll sit down and continue with styling my hair. So I'll go ahead and I'll just brush my hair through and then I'll apply the Kerastase Elixir Ultime Rose Hair Oil. I've lost count of how long I've been using this for but it helps my hair stay shiny and silky and it smells amazing. To protect my hair from any heat damage I'm using the Jizu Propolis Infused Polishing Primer. I absolutely love this and it really helps to tame my grey hairs. So once I've applied all of my product I'm just going to go ahead and blast my hair with a hair dryer. I don't have any particular technique here, I just want to get as much moisture out as possible before I go in with a hairbrush and just try and smoothen things out. A technique I've picked up over time is to point the hair dryer downwards. This just makes sure that all the hair stays down so you're not left with loads of flyaways. To help smooth my hair as it's quite wavy and coarse, I'll go in with a hairbrush and just use it in a blow drying motion and I'll just use this to help dry my hair and also to style it. There are times where I can just do this and leave it but because it's a summer hair routine I wanted to show you how I style my hair and curl it. For my curls I like to use the GHD Curve Soft Curl Tongue. I also really like using the GHD Straighteners but this product is amazing too and it really helps with a loose wave. Because this is an everyday look, I want something quite relaxed and laid back. The technique is pretty easy, I'll just curl my hair away from my face and I'll make sure the top of it is straight and I'll curl it towards the end. I find that this gives a much more relaxed and laid back finish as opposed to something quite polished. So I'll continue in three sections and with the bottom section I will just curl away from my face and you can also curve in different directions and that will give a really nice tussled wave. I find that using this technique will make it almost look like a really nice blow dry. One thing I found with the GHD curling tongs is that it really helps to smooth my hair. If you're someone like myself and you have naturally frizzy or wavy hair, you might struggle with having a lot of flyaways and a lot of little waves and kinks in your hair. This really helps to smooth that out and it helps polish everything and make it look more put together. This normally takes me around 10 to 15 minutes to do, so it's really easy and quick to do for every day. And as the day goes on, the wave settles a bit more and it loosens up, so it looks even more effortless. I've used many hair curlers before, but this one is by far my favorite. It's so easy to use. To frame my face, I will still curl away from my face and I'll just do it in a sweeper motion so you're left with really nice feathery layers at the front. But I will always tuck my hair behind my ear anyway. I'm using the same technique on the top section of my hair. I still want that curl to come through at the top layer. So I'll just continue curling away from my face around the whole top section. For the top section I'll do a bit of a looser wave so I won't start curling the hair until maybe the bottom ends and this will just keep everything looking really relaxed. 
pretty much the look complete. I don't like to apply any hairspray or styling products just because I like my hair to drop naturally and I like when the wave gets looser through the day. After that it's pretty much just about the finishing touches so I'll go ahead and I'll get my jewellery on, pop my earrings and necklace on and then head out for the day. So yeah, it's pretty simple. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope you found it informative and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget that you can get 20% off using my code Coco Beauty on the Look Fantastic website and I'll leave all info in the description box. See you in my next video.